This is one of those photographs where the light is special. It's almost tangible, you can feel it, and it makes the shot. But special means not typical lighting, and if I'd relied on the camera's automatic metering, I wouldn't have got it. Instead, I'd have got something like this. Or, depending on the settings, maybe this. Auto metering is an excellent idea, but you can rely on it only so far. And when the lighting or the subject is out of the ordinary, it just may not do the job. But wait, I just heard somebody say, it doesn't matter, you can recover just about anything in Photoshop these days. Well, yes and no. There's a price to pay. And the price is more noise, flat highlights, lost tones and colours. Nothing beats getting the exposure right at the time. For me, and for a lot of my friends who are also professional photographers, there is a way of guaranteeing the exposure. It has to do with complete familiarity with every possible lighting condition. And there is a method, a method for getting the perfect exposure. Here's a shot I did recently for the Smithsonian Magazine on Stonehenge. There wasn't much time, the sun was setting and we had remote flash. I suppose I could have just blasted away at different settings all over the place. But I really didn't need to. Just one shutter speed, one aperture and one ISO setting. That's all that was needed. And in my book, Perfect Exposure, I'll show you how. It's published in the US by Focal Press and in the UK by Ilex.